the right bank. It just fits. With online and mobile tools that give you the freedom to do more. The power to make your dream home yours. And help your business stay on top. Technology that makes one bank fit you to a T. Trustmark. People you trust. Advice that works. Quality. Integrity. And excellence. Kincaid's Fine Clothing. Old Town Square, Ridgeland. At Merritt Health Medical Group, our mission is to provide high quality health care in a convenient hometown location. Our team of primary and specialty care providers is here to take care of your family's immediate medical needs. With over 30 clinics and numerous specialties in Central Mississippi, we are here to help you live a happier, healthier life. Merritt Health Medical Group. Good health is just around the corner. Hello, Jags. I'm Mary Hawkins Butler, and I am honored to be your mayor. I'm your biggest fan. Not only do you compete athletically, but also academically. Oh, we are so proud of you. You compete locally, you compete regionally, and nationally. We know that the time is now. You can make your mark. Go out and get it. Nothing is impossible. We are behind you and we love you. Welcome to the Toby Collins Coaches Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender with the head coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Toby Collins. Last week, the Jaguars hosted the Clinton Arrows. Arrows scored 15 in the final quarter to come out on top, 38-31. The Jags fall to 4-2 and two and 1-1 one and one in region play. Uh, defense got uh, pressure early in the game, four sacks and one interception. And Coach, uh, you know, looking towards this, you know, the second half, it just seemed like the defense was on the field the whole time. And, just couldn't uh, couldn't get off the field a lot a lot of times in that second half. Yeah, Clinton, you know, very physical football team, very good up front, both offensively and defensively. Uh, you know, and I, anybody seen us play know that we're not just the biggest team, especially up front defensively, and uh, they got the leaning on us a little bit. Uh, their offensive line and had just had a hard time getting them off the field, and then it didn't help matters that offensively we kind of went cold in the third quarter. You know, I, I thought we controlled. The line of scrimmage, pretty much the whole first half. We had momentum the first half. We had the big turnover right after the uh, the break and uh, lost momentum right there for the whole third quarter. And they made us pay for it. And uh, you can't do that against good football teams. Yeah, well, of course, uh, Jacoby Calvin uh, for the second week in a row for Clinton just uh, ran the football well. I believe he had almost 175 yards. And it just seems like, uh, you know, towards the end of the game that he, he just kept uh, – you know, lean in on the defense, and it was, you know, it, they just were on the field a, a lot a lot more than they have been. Yeah, and he's a tremendous talent. You're talking about a 220, 230-pound running back that uh, when he gets going downhill now, he, he's tough to bring down. And uh, behind that offensive line, it makes it very difficult. Offensively, the the Jags came out uh, on fire a little bit uh, in, the, in the first half. They, uh, uh, you know, Vic Sutton uh, eight passes for 138 yards, and uh, it seemed like they were able to set the tone early in the game, but kind of waned a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, we, Thought we controlled the ball in the first half. You know, one of our things going in was we wanted to try to keep our defense off the field. So we needed to sustain drives, kind of slow slow down, play keep away from them. And we executed that very well, but you can't turn the football over. And uh, that's what we did. And, you know, Vic had a good night, uh, you know, very consistent, uh, you know, made good decisions with the football. Obviously lost the fumble there in the second half. But, you know, it, that's going to happen. That's part of the game. And, you know, I think every big football game, just about every game, comes down to four to six plays. Uh, we went through and, and marked those 
plays that we didn't make and Clinton didn't make, and that was the difference in the football game, that being one of them, the turnover. Connor Brown came into his own a little bit in this ball game. He seems to be um, taking a taking a step up in the backfield a little bit. Yeah, right? very, very proud of Connor. Told him on Monday, very, very pleased with the way he's running the football. Um, you know, he's making one cut, getting downhill. He's satisfied with three, four, five yards of carry. Uh, and then it he'll bust one every now and again. And that's what you have to do as a, as a good running back. And he, uh, he, he gives us a little change of pace guy. And, uh, you know, I think he's playing well. You know, you wear a lot of hats. You're, you're not just a coach, you're the athletic director. That's right. Okay, up next we'll talk about what's going on in Jaguar athletics right here okay. on the uh, Coach uh, Toby Collins Show right here on the MC Big Blue Network, Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM. I'm so excited about your job promotion. Remember our first time ever celebrating at Lost Pizza? I think it was our prom. Are you even listening to me? 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 <laughs> Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> it's easy to get lost with our fresh savory ingredients. Get lost with Lost Pizza. How do you unwind? Whether it's hunting, riding horses, or just sitting around a campfire. It's better on land you own. Southern Ag Credit can finance that land. Give our Ridgeland office a call at 601-499-2850. Jamie, Kevin, and Pate will get you started. Or visit us online at southernagcredit.com. your nearest bank plus we're here here and here we're with you wherever whenever you need us your bank your plus bank plus welcome back to the coach toby collins show brought to you by our friends at kincaid's fine clothing i'm bob sullender along with the head coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Toby Collins, also the athletic director. And, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of stuff is going on with, with Jaguar athletics across all the programs, not just the football team. Yeah, uh, you obviously got football season in full swing. Uh, big game against Tupelo this week. Also, uh, Thursday night, our ninth grade football team has uh, the Little Six Championship. So, we'll really get behind them to uh, pull out another Little Six Championship. We've got volleyball in the playoffs. Uh, won a big game this week. Uh, Moving on to the next round, uh, a swim team going back to a state championship and uh, cross country is probably having their best year ever. So just very pleased with where our athletic department is and, and how good our coaches are doing, how our kids are being successful. So it's just fun to be a part of this and a part of the Jaguar athletic department. You know, looking back, of course, uh, going uh, going to high, myself in high school in the in the late '80s and '90s. Oh, wasn't that know, long the, ago? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. the opportunities that these kids have uh, throughout the throughout the schools uh, across 6A and um, and that kind of thing. It just seems to be the opportunities are just immense for these kids to really plug into something to be a part. Yeah, you ought to be able to find something. Uh, you know, we've got everything. I think the only two sports that we don't play uh, is wrestling and and lacrosse. Uh, we do declare for indoor track. We've got archery, uh, golf, tennis, debate, speech and debate. Uh, you know, if you, you ought to be able to find your niche. Well, we've got everything and a lot to offer. So uh, just very, very pleased with our athletic department and our coaches. Like I said, they, they do a tremendous job. Of course, if you watch here what we do at uh, mcbigblue.com, uh, you know, what Bill Johnson and, and, the, and, the, and the staff and the, and the kids, that kind of thing, we, we should we, could we call that athletics, you know, running around with the cameras and stuff and making all these shots? No, I, I think it's <laughs> awesome. And Bill does an awesome job. I mean, he's, uh, he takes a lot of pride in his work. And, you know, all the graphics you see online and, and, and uh, a lot of the videos and, and things that, that get put out for MC Big Blue, that's that's all Bill Johnson and his his uh, his, uh, his vision and, and all that. He just does, like I said, he, I can't say enough about him. He does a great job. Absolutely. Up next, we'll talk about the big game this week, Tupelo. The Jags go on the road right here on the mcbigblue.com network, Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM. When I was injured, I thought my season was over. 
I was determined to get back in the game. My Mississippi sports medicine surgeon drew up the perfect game plan. My recovery, their game plan. A game-winning game -winning combination. combination. 20 physician, seven subspecialty, one focus. You, Mississippi Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. Today's education can create a brighter future. That's why Gray Daniels Automotive is proud to support students right here in Mississippi. With our Gray Daniels Drives Education Scholarship Program, we award high school seniors who go above and beyond in the community with $2,500. And so far, Gray Daniels has given nearly $30,000 to deserving seniors. To nominate or apply for the Gray Daniels Drives Education Scholarship, visit graydanielsdriveseducation.com. Professional Eye Care Associates has a large variety of designer eyewear for all your needs. Whether it's bifocals, specialty lenses for sports and hunting, or help with long hours of computer work, we can take care of you. If you prefer contact lenses, our professionals will guide you to ensure your best vision and optimal comfort through the variety of premium contact lens options available in our office. Call Professional Eye Care Associates to schedule an appointment to improve your vision today. Five locations to serve you. Brandon, Canton, Madison, Ridgeland, and Yazoo City. Wing stop. Yep. Tonight, get your lemon pepper buttery fix. Or make it a sweet and spicy Korean cure fair. Or kick things up with a hint of mango habanero heat. Classic or boneless wings. Who ate all the boneless? You did. Sounds like me. Get flavor delivered to your door today at wingstop.com. Welcome back to the Toby Collins Coaches Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender, along with the head coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Toby Collins. Tonight, the Jaguars traveled to Tupelo to take on the Golden Wave. Tupelo enters the contest with an overall record of 7-0 and 3-0 in region play. The Golden Wave offense averaging 34 points a game and only giving up 6 points a game. And they're a pass-first offense, and uh, Coach, it seems like they want to throw the ball a lot more than they want to run it. You're certainly right. I mean, and you you turn on the film and watch them. Uh, you know, they're they're three to one pass to run. So I mean, it's they they want to throw the ball and they're living and dying by the big play. Uh, they're going to stretch you vertically down the field. Uh, they will run the football, like I said, but they want to they want to get it to their playmakers out in space. Uh, a lot of quick screens and then, like I said, throwing the ball down the field. So you just gotta you gotta keep everything in front of you. Be good tacklers and and be gap sound. How does the Jaguar defense kind of uh, switch gears from a game up, you know, last week, kind of more of a running offense to this? It's completely two different styles. You know, from a what Clinton does, you know, offensively, it's a, it's a bad matchup because, like I said, they're going to come right at you and you have to consistently stay in front of them and stop them, get them behind the chains from running the football because they didn't really want to throw the ball at all. They wanted to run it right at you. And then you flip to this week in Tupelo, uh, like I said, they'll run it a little bit, but it's just enough to keep you honest, and they want to throw the ball down the field. So I mean, it's it's two completely different styles, and I think you uh, you kind of like you said, you have to switch gears because you go from having to defend the option to now defending the pass, and that's just two completely different things. So we've got a work cut out for us. Defensively, the Tupelo defense has racked up 28 sacks and seven interceptions, so there's they're a formidable opponent on that side of the ball. They are good. Uh, like I said, when they take the field and we take the field, they're going to win that that eye test automatically. They're a good looking football team. They've got long kids, big kids. Um, so like I said, and, and I keep saying it over and over and over, we got our work cut out. This region is tough from top to bottom. Absolutely. I mean, you're talking about uh, seven, at least seven uh, playoff caliber football teams in this, in this region alone. So uh, week in and week out, you've got to get ready to play. I think week in and week out, any team can beat the other team uh so like i said we just got to play more consistent we got to play more a, a cleaner style of football and uh execute a little bit better than what we did last week yeah this region you know they're gonna be some they're gonna be some playoff teams left out oh no doubt no doubt well good luck tonight thank you thanks up next we'll return to the field right here on the mc big blue network super top mississippi 97.3 fm
There are people who go to the gym, and there are those who come to Madison Health Flux Performance Training Center, a unique fitness experience, so much more than a gym. Today's education can create a brighter future. That's why Gray Daniels Automotive is proud to support students right here in Mississippi. With our Gray Daniels Drives Education Scholarship Program, we award high school seniors who go above and beyond in the community with $2,500. And so far, Gray Daniels has given nearly $30,000 to deserving seniors. To nominate or apply for the Gray Daniels Drives Education Scholarship, visit graydanielsdriveseducation.com. Integrity and excellence. Kincaid's Fine Clothing, Old Town Square, Ridgeland. <laughs> 